Hey guys, Lost Page Logger here, and today I'm going to show you a collection of my Ted Decker books. Ted Decker is a, uh, a Christian author who writes thrill, horror, uh, some romance, but I think he's an overlooked author. He's got a lot of Stephen King and Dean Koontz in him. Um, I started reading him, and I, man, I just couldn't stop putting his books down. And really, really good. If you're a Stephen King fan or a Dean Koontz fan, um, I think you're really going to enjoy his novels if you pick them up. They're not heavenly, he heavenly, they're not heav heavily into the Christian pushing it to, you know, to you. It's just, you know, here and there. I mean, there are some books that are, are you know, more pushy than others, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I don't mind those at all. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have quite a few here. Not all of his books, but most of them I've read. I haven't read them all, but I've read most of them. I'll just go through them real quick. I'm going to start with the, the Circle series. We got Black, Red, White, and Green. Now, now this is the Circle series. Basically, what it is is you can start with green or you can end with green. Now, I've read the first three. Red black and white but i have not read green yet I've, I've seen read good reviews and some bad reviews about it i don't know I'll, I'll get to it eventually but i haven't read it quite yet but basically you can start with this one and end with this one and, and the series actually is really good then from the circle series we have uh, the lost book series which kind of goes off of the circle series and these should spell circle but i have these backwards but that's all right Ileon, lunatic Chaos. Now this is more, these books here are more, I believe, for uh, YA books. Renegade, more for your teens, pre-teens. Infidel. And Chosen. And if you put all those books together... Fingers out of the way. They should spell circle, which is kind of neat. I don't know if many people know that or not. I'm sure they do. Then he, he's had a few that were movies, too. The first one was three, which the book was really good. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I've heard some bad reviews about it, but that's usually how, how it goes. Books are always better than the movies. But three was a really good book. Blink, I just finished this one, and to me it was another excellent book. Then, we, then he has another series. It's the, uh, um, gosh, I can't even think of the name of it. It's a something series. I don't know. Shoot. Paradise series, yeah. Showdown, which was an excellent book. Saint. And Sinner. This was the last of it. And this was a really good series also. And then he has some standalones I can get to. Actually, this isn't a standalone. The Priest Graveyard, which was, was an excellent book. And this has Sanctuary, which is part two, and I have not read Sanctuary yet. House. This was also made into a movie. This is with uh, Frank Peretti. I've read a few of his books. And uh, this was a really good book. The movie was okay, but, you know, nothing nothing spectacular. Like I said, but the book was much better than the movie. Emmanuel's Veins. The Bride Collector. Now with this one, this is the very first book that I read of his, and I didn't know anything about Ted Decker, and I was reading it, and I was, you know, got halfway through, you know, reading Stephen King, Dean Coons, some others. I'm thinking, man, there, there hasn't been a single cuss word in these books, and I didn't, I didn't know anything about Ted Decker, and you know, I'm thinking this, there's nothing vulgar at all, and I did a little research, of course, and I found out he was a Christian writer, which made sense. 
AD30. This is one of his newer ones. I haven't read that one yet. Adam, here's Adam. I don't have a dust cover for it. This was actually a really good book. Skin. Another excellent book. Obsessed. I got this one off of Amazon and used, so it's a little beat up. I'm reading this one right now. Then we've got the Outlaw series. I'll try to do these in order if I remember right. I think it's Eyes Wide Open. I have not read this one yet. Hacker. I have read that. That was decent. Water Walker was really, really good. And then there's a one called Outlaw, which I don't have. And then Forbidden, which I think is book one of the Book of Mor Mortal series. I hope it is, because it's the only one I have. And I think there's two more of that. And these are also written with uh, Tosca Lee, I believe is how you say your name. But, yeah, that's my uh, Ted Decker books. Um, if you're looking for a new author, you know, he has some thrill. Like I said, he's not too pushy. He doesn't, he doesn't slam his religion on you at all. There are a few books that are more than others, but I'll tell you what. Uh, give Ted Decker a chance. I think you enjoy him. All right. Enjoy your books. Thanks for watching. Bye.